Hello and welcome to Let's Talk Meshing's Tutorial Tuesday where we explore a feature in just a few minutes. In this week's video we're discussing the File Properties menu feature. First, let's start by opening up Pointwise. If you select the File menu and then choose Properties near the bottom, it will open up a fourth tab labeled Properties. At the top is a table with a beige background. This is the characteristic grid or database or source length the table. Generally speaking, this will tell you the maximum edge length of a bounding box that would house your model. The table has three rows which are total, enabled, and visible. The top row, or total, is the maximum extent of all grid and database entities, regardless of layer or show hide status. The middle row, the enabled row, this tells you the maximum extent of all shown grid and database entities, regardless of layer status. Lastly is the visible row. This is the maximum extent of all shown grid and database entities in layers that are on. Next we have the tolerances frame. The top item is the model size. Model size tolerance serves as the basis for all tolerances used for Pointwise's geometric computations. Examples of such computations are intersections, projections, and the triangular surface measure. Because the model size is used as the basis for Pointwise's geometric computations, it is important to set it to a value on the same order of magnitude as your geometry extent prior to importing the geometry. Next up is the node tolerance. The node tolerance is the real value within which two nodes are considered identical. The importance of this tolerance lies in the fact that it is used to determine whether two connectors are end-to-end -end adjacent and thus can be used within a domain. The tolerance is also used by the grid merge command. The default value is 1e to the minus 4. Next up is the connector tolerance. The connector tolerance is the real value within which two connectors with equal non-zero dimensions are considered identical. To determine if they are within tolerance, the distances between grid points along the connectors are computed. If the maximum distance between two corresponding grid points is less than the connector tolerance, the connectors are considered identical. One connector will be deleted and replaced with the other. The default value is 1 e to the minus 4. Lastly is the grid point tolerance. The grid point tolerance is the real value within which two grid points are considered identical. This tolerance is used to determine where singularities or poles exist in the grid to avoid divide by zero conditions during the computation of various grid control parameters. The default value is 1e to the minus 7th. If you like this video, be sure to click the thumbs up button and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. If you have any questions or comments, drop us a line down below or connect with us on Twitter, which is linked in the description. Thank you all and have a pleasant Tuesday.